Hi everyone, so we're going to continue our discussion of the strength of assets and bases with the concept called solution inventory. Solution inventory is the idea of writing the correct type of species that appears in solution when we dissolve a specific type of solute. Now you will remember that we have different types of solutes that could be dissolved in water. Specifically, we're considering aqueous solutions in this case. So those solutes can be strong, weak, or non-electrolytes. Now, the way we're going to figure out what type of species are actually observed in solution depends on whether our solute is one of these types. So if it's a strong electrolyte, then that solute is going to dissociate completely into ions when they're dissolved in water. The categories that belong in strong electrolytes would be soluble, salt, strong acids, or strong bases. So for soluble salt, you're going to need to check your solubility rules to find out. Strong acids, strong bases, you need to have them memorized already. For weak electrolytes, if that's the solute, then we're not going to see ions, but we're going to see the molecular form of that compound. Weak electrolytes could be insoluble salts, could be weak acids or weak bases. For non-electrolytes, these are covalent compounds, so they will never form ions and they're not an acid or a base. So all you're going to see is the molecular form of that compound. Using the solution inventory idea, determine what kind of species you would see when we take each of the solutes listed here and mix them with water. And we're just going to do a few of this, but that would hopefully highlight the way we think of through these ideas. And I have the solubility rules here for convenience. We start with KCL. So the first step in the solution inventory process is to identify what you have in front of you. And the selection is either you have an ionic compound or a salt, or you have an acid, or you have a base, or you have a covalent compound. So when we look at KCO, we notice that it's a metal and a non-metal, so that's going to be an ionic compound or a salt. Okay? Then the next step is we need to determine what kind of salt it is, and there's two options. You either have a soluble salt or you have insoluble salt. Now, if you have an acid or a base, then it will be either strong or weak. If you have covalent compound, there's no choice. It's just a covalent compound. So soluble or insoluble, that's why we need the solubility rules for us. KCO is a group 1. Uh, salt and group one is always soluble and then once we determine that number three is to determine whether that belongs in the strong weak or non-electrolyte group a soluble salt is a strong electrolyte a strong electrolyte always will dissociate completely then KCl when I put it in water will not appear as KCl but what I would see would be K plus and Cl minus ion Okay. okay, let's take a look at a different example, say HClO. So I take HClO, put it in water, what am I going to see in solution? And going through the steps, what do I have in front of me? Is it an ionic compound, a salt, an acid, base, or covalent compound? Well, its uh, formula starts with an H, so that tells me that this must be an acid. Now, if it's an acid, then the choices are either strong or weak, because that's the only two types of acid we have. Now, in a previous video, I had mentioned to you that if you have acids, you have to memorize the strong acids. And the strong acids, there's six of them. There's HCl, HBr, HI, HNO3, HClO4, and H2SO4. HClO is none of those things. So that means that this is a weak acid and they are weak electrolytes. Now what happened to weak electrolytes in solution is they don't split. What I'm going to observe in solution would be HClO aqueous. All right, let me do one more example, which is NH3. So NH3 H3 aqueous. What am I going to see when I put this in solution? So first things first, what type of compound is this? Salt, acid, base, or covalent compound? This is a base. In fact, we automatically remember that this is a weak base, okay? Because all the strong bases are the soluble hydroxide salt. So if it's a weak base, then it's going to be a weak electrolyte. Okay, so if it's a weak electrolyte, then it's going to exist at its molecular form. So what I'm going to see in solution would be NH3 aqueous, okay? 